Valve recently launched the Steam Deck OLED. It got an impressive OLED display, a longer lasting battery, and various other upgrades. Running on SteamOS, which is essentially a Debian Linux, I think it would be a great additional to my cyber travel kit, as it not only allows me to access my game library on the go, but also serves as a useful mobile PC. And luckily, I managed to get one. Another device in my travel kit is Flipper Zero. This is both an electronic pet toy and a versatile multi-tool education device. It can access the real world through sub-GH's radio, RFID, NFC, Bluetooth, infrared, GPIO, and more. I couldn't find a YouTube tutorial for installing Flipper Zero software, QFlipper, on the Steam Deck. It might be a good idea for me to create my own guide for the process. After powering on the Steam Deck, let's switch to desktop mode. To do so, simply hold down the power button for a few seconds and a menu will pop up. Use the D-pad to navigate to switch to desktop and press A button to access desktop mode. You can use the touchpads to control your mouse cursor and on screen keyboard to perform the tasks. Personally, I prefer to use my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Open your preferred web browser and search for QFlipper for Linux. You should be able to find the GitHub repo of QFlipper from Flipper Devices. QFlipper is completely open source desktop application, meaning that you can find its source code, usage instructions, updates, links to various resources, and even issues here in this GitHub repo. Locate the download QFlipper button and click on it. It should bring us to official website of Flipper Zero. Click Download QFlipper for Linux button to download the application package. Once the download is completed, start the downloaded application using the built-in file manager, Dolphin. Choose Execute and then Continue to proceed. QFlipper application is now up and running. Let's try to connect a Flipper Zero device and see if it works. I'm using the USB cable that comes with Flipper Zero. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit the USB Type-C port of Steam Deck as it is not a USB Type-C to Type-C data cable. Therefore, I use my travel hub to connect these two devices. During the first run, we got a permission denied error screen. The log at the bottom of the application indicates that the app cannot access the serial port. Luckily, QFlipper provides on-screen instructions on how to fix it. The command is also available in the GitHub repo. Before executing the command, right-click on the QFlipper icon to close the application. Browse the download folder using Dolphin File Manager. Right-click and select Open Terminal here. You can execute Linux command using this terminal. After arranging the windows, we can copy and paste the command to the terminal. Press Enter to execute. Be sure to replace file name in the command with name of your downloaded file. As we are making changes to system settings, Password is required for confirmation. If you haven't set it, you can press Enter key twice to quit and execute PASSWD command to set your user password. Now let's try to execute the command again. You can press the arrow up key on your keyboard to access previous commands. Press Enter key and enter your user password to execute. The device rules has been updated successfully. We can try to connect our devices again. Double click on the downloaded file and choose Execute to start QFlipper application. And boom, QFlipper can now connect to Flipper Zero. The next thing that I want to do is to access it from game mode so that I don't have to switch to desktop mode for it. To do that, we will move the application file to my preferred file location, which is the desktop. 
Next, right click on the Steam icon on the taskbar and choose Library. Click on the Add a Game button on the bottom left corner and choose Add a non Steam game. As QFlipper is not in the list, we can locate application file by clicking on the Browse button and Desktop folder. Select it and click Open. QFlipper should now be added and selected. Click Add Selected Program to add it to the library. Now it's a good time to rename it before we switch back to game mode. Select QFlipper on the left menu and click on the gear button on the right to update its properties. Change the name to QFlipper and close the windows. We have now renamed it and it's time to switch back to gaming mode by double clicking the return to gaming mode icon on the desktop. It'll take a few moments. Meanwhile, let me switch to my external camera and clean up my desk. Now we are back to gaming mode. We can start QFlipper application by pressing A button or using the touch screen. QFlipper is started. We can connect the Flipper Zero device and have the final test to make sure everything works fine and expected. Perfect! This is how we can install QFlipper on Steam Deck under 10 mins. This is Quincy. Thanks for watching.